So you put out your last album four years ago, but you've also done a lot of great features with Erica Badu. You also did a song that we mentioned before with Hip Boy, which is so awesome. And Thank so you. can you give us a little hint on what musicians we should expect on your new album? I have two iconic artists from the South um, that are huge influences in my career. Um, one is from Texas, for sure. Um, the other one, if I say the state, they're going to know who it is automatically. Uh. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, I can give that piece. Yeah, but yeah I'm, I'm happy to share it piece by piece, you know. It's okay, just keep us anticipating. It's, it's, it's exciting, so it's all right. <laughs> So, wrap is back, right? Wrap is back, after four years. I know your fans are so excited about this new album. So, what was the journey like and what has the journey been in creating it so far and the inspiration behind it? Man, it's been a, it's been a beautiful roller coaster, right? And um, I say that because I started this album right when the pandemic started. Um, and it allowed me to really sit still and really sit with myself. And in sitting yourself, you know, all the noise turns down and all you hear is you, right? And all these things that you've been thinking and holding in and, you know, the things that have scared the life out of you. And I decided that I, I didn't want to be scared anymore and understanding some things that I had to unlearn and that I wasn't really always operating from the most authentic place of me as a whole person. And that was because of lack of confidence, right? And so, you know, I, I figured out that I would tend to, you know, look to other people's thoughts and opinions because I didn't trust my own. So, you know, I had to heal in a lot of ways, heal from relationships, heal from um, self-doubt. Um, I had to reintroduce myself for me. I had to learn how to create music in a different way, create music scared um, and being so vulnerable and so open. And that's what mostly the last four years has looked like to me. Um, and it was a bunch of a bunch of things that aided in that, you know, being still, still in solitude, really reading, learning to meditate, um, you know, having therapeutic conversations with the close ones to me, being honest with myself, working out, making sure my body was good, changing my diet, and you know, that's just how I've gotten here, you know, and creating music from all the way me, because I had this tribe of people that really poured into me, but this time it's like, yo, I really want to be at the, the wheel of my ship, you know, and really steer this boat. And that can be scary too, because you're always looking for a crutch, you know, but here we are. <laughs> yeah, here you are, and you're doing absolutely amazing. You know, you've been working really hard on it, and we're just so excited to hear it. So you mentioned earlier, you talked about balance, you know, being genuine and healing. What would you say is the biggest thing you have discovered about yourself or even just your music in general while creating this album? One, that I'm a lot braver than I thought I was um, to share some of the things. And in doing that, like, um, I realized that we all go through the same things, you know, in different ways. Um, and two, that I'm, I'm worthy, you know, that I am valued, that people do care. And those were the biggest things because I had so much doubt. It was like, man, do I really belong here? Is it space for me? Um, am I talented enough as I thought I was? And, you know, at one point I was like, I don't know. But now, you know, I'm able to really live in, and love myself and see that there is space for me and really walk in that, you know, with the utmost confidence.